The diagram shows part of the curve with equation y is equal to f of x. So here we have y is equal to f of x. The coordinates of the maximum point on this curve are 3, 4. So there's the maximum point, 3, 4. Write down the coordinates of the maximum point on the curve with equation y is equal to f of x plus 4, y is equal to minus 2 f of x, and y is equal to f of 3x. The curve with equation y is equal to f of x is translated to give the curve c. c has a maximum point with coordinates 3 minus 2, which is down there. The equation of c is y is equal to f of x plus k. Write down the value of k. So if we've got the diagram here of the curve, what does um, f of x plus 4 equate to? Well, it's a translation uh, minus 4, 0. So it means that the curve will move that way 4 units. And therefore, the new maximum will be minus 1, 4. So we need to take 4 from 3 to get minus 1. The y coordinate says the same. So 3, 4 will map onto minus 1, 4. B. Y is equal to minus 2 f of x. Well, this equates to a reflection in the x-axis. So 3, 4 will go down to 3 minus 4. And then it is stretched parallel to the y-axis scale factor 2. So if it is at 3 minus 4, then the maximum will now go down to 3 minus 8. So the reflection will take 3, 4 to 3 minus 4, and the stretch will take it down uh, from minus 4 to 3 minus 8. 3. F of 3x, well this is a stretch parallel to the x-axis, but the scale factor is not 3, it is 1 over 3. And therefore, this point here will now go to 1, 4. Okay, so 1 third of 3 is 1. So 3, 4 will map onto 1, 4. Now, the last part, it says the curve with equation y is equal to f of x is translated to give the curve c. c has a maximum point with coordinates 3 minus 2. The equation of c is y is equal to f of x plus k. Write down the value of k. So what happens is that this now curve, it moves down 6 units. Okay, from there to there, it is going down uh, uh, minus 6 units, which means that K has to be, my F, this cur new curve, which will be look like this, will be Y is equal to F of X minus 6. Therefore, K will be equal to minus 6. So this has been a video to show you how to uh, do translations of a curve. I hope you understood and I thank you very much for watching.